bread right here. You don't even have to buy it. You can just go and get a uh, bread from the dumpster. You can go to a bakery and be like, I need bread that's moldy. And just kind of break it up. And this is important because if you're going to be throwing stuff into a like a leak, um, make sure it's non-toxic, man. A lot of those um, plastics are made from PVC, and they break off, they end up in that leak, you know? And the thing is, there's biodegradable, non-toxic fishing gear out there. So invest in that stuff. So this is um, by Procure, and I just put a dash in here. I literally just put a dash in there. It takes about a half hour, but I let it sit overnight. And this stuff will stain anything. I want to make sure I get all the liquid out. I don't want to use all this corn. I'm gonna keep about a third of the jar. So I'm gonna need more water. Because I want it to be able to make like a dough looking like thing. And the idea is you're gonna ball it up you're gonna pack it into a ball and you can put this around you can pack this ball and have your hook in the middle with some of that corn in there and throw it in the lake and you're gonna to start to um, feel the nibbles of the fish right because they're eating the ball so you don't set the hook until they pull on your rod until they got the that your your um, hook with the corn you'll know because they'll pull on the rod but you'll feel little nibbles, you'll feel little taps because they're getting at this ball. You gotta be patient. And this is not the finished product. I need to add lake water to it. Uh, throw little kernels in there if um, I feel I need to because this is a lot of bait. And then I have a thing of mealworms I got from the big box pet store. So this is my bait cooler. And I have some already made from a couple months ago. <clears throat> so this is the way it should look like. And I think I used the uh, wheat bread. It doesn't matter the kind of bread. You just need some kind of bread. That's why I use the cheapest bread. And this is one of the... Um, regular corn. Now the reason I diet is because like this will work just fine and this is what I use at Rose Canyon Lake but when I go fishing at the community fishing program lakes this is what I use. I'm gonna use both of it today. I'm gonna just mix it up and whatever. The problem with this is that the corn is really soft and it just comes off the hook. When you dye it, it like hardens it up and it stays on the hook really well. So you end up using less corn. So that's why this is like a lot. With this, I usually have this whole jar full and I'll go through like half of it because the fish will um, steal it. They'll nibble it off. This one is, um, in terms of hooking fish, this is better. It also leaves like a, like a trail because this stuff, this stuff starts to work off of the corn and it's like fish guts and fish skin and all kinds of fish products left over from the food process, fish food processing industry and fish eat fish. So 
boom, it, it, it brings them in. And the bright pink color, I think, does a, makes a difference, too, because it looks like, um, like roe, like, like, um, fish eggs. So that's the corn I'm using. It's like 11, 12 bucks for a big box. And it lasts me a long time, well over a year. And I just use it for fishing bait because it's not organic. And, uh. Threw in the old ground bait in there. When I get to the lake, I'm gonna make some lake water in there to get it to this sort of consistency. If I even need to do that, I'm gonna mix it in more. And um, threw in leftover corn from, this was leftover from my last fishing trip, which was, last time I used this, I threw the leftover cured corn that I made from filling these jars because these are easier to open, they're smaller, my fingers can fit in there. And uh, leftover corn from last time I used this was, I don't even remember, I think it was in Tucson. I know I used the yellow one at Rose Canyon. And that's the thing, like, sometimes one works better. So, like, at Rose Canyon, the fish like the corn scent more. Community fishing programs, the cured corn seems to work out better. Cheap bait. Every once in a while, I forget my rod runner. So, this is what I do. I tie that thing to my bucket. Got my worms in there. Those are the meal worms. I just don't buy them, but my mom hooked me up because we were buying worms and she knew I was going fishing. But I tie up my rod. So I can carry three. I can only use two by, I have three rigged. I have this little pouch right here with everything I need. Got this igloo right here with ice. And uh, I think I'm gonna take it down, usually I leave it, but I don't know, we'll see. So, I got to bait it on there. So it's gonna look like I got a slip float and it's set. Where is that thing at? It's about seven feet that this thing's gonna hang. So that float moves up, up and down. So we're gonna see what this does. All right, I got this line on the bottom so the slip float is down when it goes up that means there's a fish on there and that's where I'm throwing my my um, the one with the, with the bread this guy over here has the gnarly looking worm the mealworm and it's just been chilling nothing Nothing on either one. And that dude over there. He's been riding around his boat. Scaring all the fish. And the batteries ran out. So. This is why it's hard to fish in here. I mean there's tons of people here. There's all kinds of lines. So usually this like uh <laughs> baiting strategy works because even if they're not eating my stuff the little fish if there is any little fish they're going to be eating that stuff and then the other fish will move in so this is like a session strategy right here if um i'm going to be here until the sun goes down and we'll see if i get anything 
So I've just been catching these little catfish right here. So this guy's like all head. I've been throwing him back. I don't know if it's, it could be the same one. But um, too small to eat. Let's see. So I've just been catching these little catfish right here. So this guy's like all head. I've been throwing him back. I don't know if it's, it could be the same one. A little bit bigger. But still real small. Okay, this dude swallowed the hook, so I just cut it off. I'm gonna throw this dude back in. Alright. That dude is pretty big. 